Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I bet this is going to be very, very tasty, guys. This is uh, Jackie O's Pub and Brewery. These guys are up in Ohio. This is their Bourbon Black, Bourbon Barrel Black Maple. And both the uh, Rake Beer and Untapped have this listed at 11%. And this was sent to me by my brother Rico, and he writes, and he's got some misinformation in here too. Uh, it says, Yakio's O's Bourbon Barrel Black Maple, 11% Bourbon Barrel Age Imperial Porter, brewed with locally harvested maple syrup from Sticky Peats. It rested in bourbon barrels for 10 months. That's a long time, so we should have some big bourbon notes on this. Said he traded for this. I believe this is around $12 MSRP. Uh, he said he knows it's sold it to brewery as well as some bottle shops around in the Ohio area. area. Vintage year and ABV are on the label. Well, Rico, my friend, this is not 11 percent. According to the bottle, it says it was bottled at Jackie O's in 2017. And it says here that it is a 12.1 percent alcohol by volume. So, this edition is a little bigger than the 11% everybody is telling me it is. So 12.1%, not 11%. So a little bit bigger than 11% uh, on this one. So uh, final beer of the evening for me. So uh, let's get on with this one and see what we have. Uh, I don't have the IBUs listed anywhere on this beer. Uh, a lot of times you're not going to get that information on this style of beer. And uh, the brewery can call these stouts or porters, imperial stouts, imperial porters. 12.1% uh, is a big beer for a porter. Those beers were designed originally to be a low uh, ABV version of a stout. A little thinner, uh, a little less alcohol. Uh, for some of the dock workers and stuff over in the UK and, and other places uh, to have something with their lunch or dinner and go back to work. The 3 to 4% beer. Now the, the Americans are got a hold of this style. Uh, the sky is the limit. Uh, I mean if you want to brew a 20% Imperial Porter or 20% Imperial Stout and you can call it whatever. It's up to the brewery to call it whatever. Uh, some of the Heavier stouts are pitch black. A lot of the stouts are pitch black, no light. But I have stouts I can see some red ribbiness to it, and vice versa. Uh, some of the lighter porters have that red ribbiness uh, uh, around the bottom of the glass, and some of them do not. So it's entirely up to the to the. Uh, there's a fine line there whether you what you're going to call it, whether you're going to call it a porter or a stout, uh, especially when you get into the 12 percenters and stuff. So not what just particular style was designed to be, but that's the day and age we live in. Everybody wants to be bigger, bolder, badder, stronger. So, let's see, and I have had some of the Jackie O's beers sent to me before by other subscribers, and I think everything that has been sent to me from these guys are top notch. Uh, so I don't expect anything less from them. Enrico has sent me multiple uh, beers from this uh, the brewery this time. So. Uh, I can't get the Jackie O's beers here, like I said, uh, and all of them are heavy dark beers. So we're going to get to those as uh, soon as we can. Uh, I don't like doing two or three of these style beers in one setting or one evening. 
So uh, well, we usually end up doing uh, these style of beers for the final beer of the evening. You guys that follow me know that. So let's get on with this one. Uh, commercial description on this one from Untapped says, uh, Black, oh, it's a big one too. Black Maple was a beer that brewed on the fly and open brew day was reason enough to go big and bold. We put out, put our heads together and crafted an imperial porter with deep nutty notes, a touch of smoked malt, a melange of crystal moss, and rich chocolate backbone. The luckily harvest maple syrup from Sicky Peach was added to the kettle. The whole batch was then placed in the bourbon barrels where it rested. This says 11 months. The beer was consistently some of our favorite barrels for a sample. We hope you enjoy. So, like I said, uh, the ABV is a little stronger than what these guys are telling me. So, uh, I expect this to be a very tasty final beer of the evening here, guys. So, let's get it up. Let's pop the cap off of this thing. Nice little hiss. A little bit of smoke. Well, I can smell the bourbon already. Wow. While I pour this, I tell you the cuisine is barbecue, the cheese is buttery, brie, gouda, havarti, swiss, as well as your chocolate dishes, uh, dessert type beer. The meat is beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat. Glass for the pint, back or not, come to mug, sign, sign down. I'm using my favorite tulip glass, this almond beer glass today, guys. And this says not recommended for semi salary, but I can't think of a reason why you could not. It's a bourbon barrel aged imperial porter. I mean, there's no coffee being used in it, so I don't know why beer advocate is saying that. Didn't pour very much of a head, guys. I'm going to get over into the light. I'm not getting any of that red ribbiness. It is pitch black. Very much looks like a stout. Good looking beer. Let's get it to the nose. Rich roasted malt. Hints of cocoa, a little bit of bourbon. I was kind of expecting a little bit more bourbon in those, but it's right out of the fridge. Those bourbon notes may open up and, and get more prevalent as it warms up. Slight hint of a little bit of the alcohol. It's not super boozy on the nose, though. Slight hints of uh, dark fruit, maybe some uh, uh, molasses. Got a nice sweetness to the aroma. Smells pretty good. Smells very much like a dessert beer. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Wow. Vanilla, coconut, some oaky woodiness, hints of some smoked malt. Wow. The coconut is really standing out on the taste. Like I said, a little bit of the booziness too. But this is a fresh bottle, 2017. I don't know when in 2017 they don't tell us that. It's just 2017 vintage. So did they do it in January of 2017? June? December? I don't know when in 2017 they did it. So I don't know how old the beer is other than it's a 2017 vintage. Now the coconut is opening up on the nose too. I'm getting big notes of coconut. And that is coming from the barrels, guys. The vanilla and the coconuts coming from the barrels. They didn't use vanilla or coconut in the brewing, I don't think. And at 12.1%, it is a super. It is a very tasty beer, guys. This is very delicious. As far as I can recall from the previous versions of Jackie O beers that I have had, they don't. I don't think they put out any junk, no garbage. Uh, everything they brew is pretty damn tasty, especially in this big style that, that I have here. So, but it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let's let it warm up. Let me sip on it. Let her taste it. Might have to step out and fire up a stogie to go with this while I'm sipping on it and come back and see where we end up with this one. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Outstanding beer, guys. I'm getting the bourbon. I'm getting hints of the maple. Brown sugar, roasted malt, coconut, uh, hints of some dark fruit. 
very, very well done beer. Uh, absolutely delicious. Uh, a perfect dessert beer. Now that I've been sipping on it, it's come up to room temperature. Very, very pleasant aroma. Slight hint of a, a little bit of booze in this, but it's 2017 edition. It's fresh. A little bit hot, but not bad. Not off-putting, not burning, or anything like that. Very tasty. Absolutely delicious. Wonderful beer. Final choke. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. A lot of stuff going on with the coconut, the vanilla, the molasses, a little bit of chocolate, roasted malt, dark fruit. Absolutely delicious, guys. To me, uh, I would like to know what month it would done. It'd be nice if they would give us that information, but they're just telling us it's 2017. For 12.1% ABV beer, it's absolutely outstanding, guys. And uh, with the vintage on the label of 2017, I'd like to see the month to know what part of the year it was done. But uh, beggars can't be choosers. I do think this is a 10 beer, guys, and that's what I'm going to give it. It is absolutely delicious. 100 for me, guys. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 4.47. That's in their A minus scale, not even up to their A scale. I disagree with that. Uh, it is very tasty. I enjoyed this. I would buy this if I could get it here. Over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 4.34. That's definitely in their A scale. Not the best numbers I've seen from them, but it is an A beer from those guys, too. I think it's a little better than an A. That's why I gave it to A+. Plus. Uh, you're getting the bourbon. The bourbon is not off the chain like a lot of bourbon beers are, especially if it's, this one has been done in 10 months in the barrel, like they said the 11% uh, the had been done. So uh, uh, a little less bourbon than I thought it was going to have being in that barrel that long, but uh, that's probably where they wanted it to be. Uh, they didn't want the bourbon overpowering everything else. They wanted you to taste the coconut and the vanilla and the hints of the dark fruit instead of just all bourbon. So, uh, very well done. I enjoyed this. Very, very tasty. Looking forward to the other Jackie O's beers that Rico sent me. Uh, and they're all big beers like this. So, uh, very nice beer, guys. Uh, if you've had this one from Jackie O's, this is the Bourbon Barrel Black Maple. Let me know what you think. I loved it. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.